but Isaiah was right in the middle. Played it great. Under two minutes now, remaining in the first quarter. Oakley. Ewing gets the offensive rebound and a loose ball foul against Lane Beer. Ewing is still down. Lane Beer picks up his second, and Daly may be hit with a technical well, if he keeps going. Chuck Daly is wild. Lane Beer says that he was pushed from the rear and went under Ewing. Ewing, who was extended that time, naturally came down over the top of Lane Beer. Lane Beer is livid that he was pushed into that, and that's why Chuck Daly is so upset. And let's face it, you're, the, you're a Nick representative here right now, and you are concerned the franchise is on the floor. Ewing appears to be all right. Let's see it. Now look look down now. Now watch Ewing. Here, uh, there he is. Well, you can see when he put his hand, when Lambier put his hand into the back of Ewing, you'll see like he looks like he slips. Right about now, you see Ewing pushed off, yeah. Lambeer had his hand, Ewing pushed off, and he fell right underneath. Yeah, Lambeer's right on that one. Yes, he was. Vandaway will shoot. Technical foul on Chuck Daly. Vandaway hits it. So normally, he's a villain in almost every enemy arena he goes into, but Bill Lambeer has a point here. Well, you know, it, it, you're playing with big people uh, in confined quarters. Come on this side of the floor, left side of the floor, or deck right in there. Beautiful. Sally, maybe his fourth. Take it his third. Watch out now. Lane Beer. Like that swagger. Well, hey. well, the main thing is right now is that no one wants to do something foolish to cost your team a technical foul. Then number two, get possibly thrown out of the game. You do not want that to happen right now. Three technicals in this game, one on Charles Oakley, two on Detroit's coaching staff, Daly and Brendan Sir. Now, the foul, either way now, the team will be shooting the penalty. And Rodman grabs them from the rear. Now, this is the play before. We had the foul in the lane. Now, the, you know, this is a little A. I'm not going, I'm getting your face here in my face, okay? But what I'm not going to do is back down from you right now, just so nobody raises a hand. It's Gary Cooper at high noon, let's face it. All right. And Thomas Strip, three on one. Jackson for Ewing. And the foul, Lane Beer and Ewing. Wow. Having words. And Lane Beer opening his arms up like, come to me, Patrick. McDaniel to the rescue. Patrick lost it. He lost it for a split second, and McDaniel saved him. And Patrick Ewing now has been able to calm himself down. Bill Lambeer once again hearing the uh, fine words from the Garden crowd <laughs> as he has collected his fourth foul. And there's the smirk that has delighted fans throughout the NBA. What a perfect villain. Amazing to think nothing he can do, no matter what it may be, will get fans to cheer for him except in Detroit. over the years he has been such a significant player so important in terms of the uh, two NBA championships won by oh. Ewing and foul hard with my horn Lambert I hate it both dramatically here's Rodman oh he is walloped by Oakley then straight on by Ewing and here we go this will be a very difficult game for the officials. Ewing smiling, keeping his cool. This is difficult because if things continue in this manner, there are decisions that will have to be made if punches are thrown with key players involved. Do you throw them out? 
Do you let them stay on the floor? Marv, I honestly think there will not be punches thrown in this game. I believe everyone knows how important it is not to be thrown out and how ready the officials are in view of the intensity here to make those decisions. I think it's all heavy, heavy psyching of one another, although it's quite physical, as you see on the replay. Now, Charles Oakley, as is his way, overdoes the physical play. He didn't have to put his arm around Rodman's neck on that play. And, of course, everyone wants to, quote, protect your teammate, which brings McDaniel, followed by Ewing in there, and then, of course, Lambeer's typical behavior. They're calling a, a flagrant foul on Xavier McDaniel. It appears a, a technical foul has been called on Ewing. And now they've changed the flagrant is called on Charles Oakley. That for the uh, physical play on that uh, drive by Rodman. Ewing. And Sally just can't stay with him. No, John, the Knicks are trying to force the finish. Oh, oh, now some uh, drawing between Orlando Woolridge no, and Patrick no, Ewing. It's Lane Beer and Ewing. Ewing was fouled by Sally, but was angered by Jeff Wells. <laughs> so I guess what I saw was Woolridge being peacemaker. Sally going in, fouling him from behind, and then double fouled by Liam Beer. Beer. Anyway, that, that was a move by Liam Beer, though. You know, what was he going to accomplish? There's no way he's going to block you. It was like an extra annoying foul. You know, let me, let me hit him anyway, you know? And Jess Kersey went over to Ewing to pull him down. So here's Ewing on his man. He's got Sally. And a little extra squat. It appeared that Ewing felt the presence of Liam Beer after he was fouled by... I mean, Sally got two fouls. Sally, and I think it's... Ball game. This is a blistering pace. Pistons by three, 4.50 to go in the first quarter. Count the basket and the foul, and Lambeer is going to get a technical. Well, he knew he was going to get that one, Bob, because uh, he had some very unkind words to say, and obviously Chuck Daly is upset about it as well. They felt that uh, Patrick Ewing had thrown him off with the arm. And Bill knew that was coming. He took that one intentionally. We'll watch again as you watch in the right side of your screen. There you saw Patrick holding off. I think Bill gave a little bit of an act myself. It wasn't really uh, as bad as Bill had thought. James Edwards checks into the ball game for the Detroit Pistons. Lane Beer will get a chance to. Lane Beer throws it into the hands of Tucker to Jackson. To Oakley to Tucker. Nick's the lead. Oakley and Lane Beer are into a fight. And what happened there, Bob, was that, oh boy, we've got a still a little confrontation going on. Patino and Daly also down there near that fracas. Brendan Malone right in the midst of it. Bennett Salvatore is in there, the official, along with Hugh Evans. And all of the players who have come off the bench are going to get fined in this one. What started it, Bob, was that Oakley came up as Lane Beer was walking off the court and shoved him for no reason. Then Lane Beer talked, started to walk back, and then Ewing stepped in front of him, and then Lane Beer pushed Ewing, and that's where it all started after that. Well, there's a timeout on the floor now. The officials will assess who was involved in that. There may be more Detroit penalties. Nothing. Detroit leads the league in victories and fines. Hugh Evans looked over here and said, nothing. <laughs> they just said, we'll pretend this didn't happen. It is 102 to 99 New York. 39 seconds remaining in this ball game. And you want to get a sense of playoff intensity. It is here in this building tonight.
You know, no question about that. And that was just the silliness on the part of Charles Oakley to, to do what he did. And then it was crazy on the part of Bill Lane Beer to, to do what he did. Here's the thing, just a, a bad pass on the part of Bill Lane Beer as he did not make a very good pass outside to the open man. Tucker gets it and off to the races. Come the Knicks, Tucker lays it in. And a three-point lead. Here's the reaction of the Nick bench after that play. And then watch them because they're going to see that, that something was going on in the court. And they all start to come out there because they know that something is going on that there's a little bit of a problem. Here goes Rick Patino. You see all the pushing still going on, a lot of talking. There's Chuck Daly in it. Pistons. left and the Pistons get a 20 second timeout. Well, a glaring at Bill Lane Beer. I mean Rodman's talking to him but look at who he's looking at. He's looking dead straight. A oh, boy if looks could kill Bill Lane Beer would be in serious difficulty right there. And he just keeps walking down the court but look at him. He's just looking at Bill Lane Beer. Look at him. I mean he's slapping hands but he's just staring down. He did it all the way down the court. When he got to the foul line he did it again. Ewing gives the Knicks a four-point lead with 18 seconds remaining. The Knicks are 3-0 against the Pistons. Detroit. 